Hi kids, it's Rebecca and Sharla here from our kitchen at home and we are just going to do our lesson again from our kitchen. So today we're going to be learning about the armor of God and how we can put on the armor of God to protect us from anything the devil might throw at us. But first, we are going to pray and so everybody bow your heads with me and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your son, Jesus, and we thank you for the sacrifice that he made on the cross for our sins. And Lord, we just pray that you will protect all of us from this illness that is going around and be with those that are sick, help them be healed. And Lord, we just love you so much, and we thank you for this time mm -hmm. with our families. In your name we pray, amen. All right. So, like I said, we're going to be learning about the armor of God. And behind me and Sharla are some pieces of the armor of God taped up um, in various places in my kitchen. So, as you're watching this video, you can look for those. There are six different pieces of the armor of God. And um, you can zoom in the video and you can, while you're listening to the different pieces of the armor of God, you can try to find those. So first we're going to sing a song that I wrote the lyrics to several years ago for the armor of God to teach it. And it's to the tune of Camp Town Races. So we're going to pull up the graphic for you so that you have the lyrics. And I encourage you this week to learn this song so that you can memorize the armor of God. Here we go. Let's sing a little song about the full armor of God, of God, so that you can stand firm against the devil's schemes. Put on the belt of truth, breastplate of righteousness, spread the gospel of peace of God. Let's sing a little song about the full armor of God, of God, so that you can stand firm against the devil's schemes. Take up the shield of faith, helmet of salvation, Hold high the sword of the Spirit of God. All right, so that's just a silly song that you can do this week, and we'll sing it again at the end um, to memorize the armor of God. So every Christian has read or heard about the armor of God one time or another, and it's a very exciting and visual um, passage that captures our imagination. So while we're starting this um, lesson, I want you to turn to Ephesians 6 if you have your Bibles at home, so that you can follow along with the Bible lesson when we read it. All right. You can see, almost see Paul sitting at a desk or on the floor in his prison cell, looking at the guards on the other sides of the bar, saying to himself, hey, you know, that helmet could be salvation. That sword could represent faith. So that may have been how he um, came up with this, but most of all, we know that God gave him the idea and blessed this idea. The challenge for Christians is to put this passage into a daily practice. Paul didn't write this to just give us a clever scripture or a fun story to tell. He and God wants us to put on this armor every day. So let's revisit this passage one more time to remind ourselves of the armor of God. So this is where you turn in your Bibles to Ephesians 6. And it says Ephesians 6, chapter 6, verse 10. And we're going to read through 18. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet firmly fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for the saints. All right. How'd you like that, Charlotte? You say hi? <laughs> 
All right, God knows we are in a spiritual battle. We're not only in a battle against this virus, but we're also in a spiritual battle. Just as there is a Holy Spirit living in the, us, there are angels watching out for us, and there are dark forces that want to discourage us, to drag us into sin, to keep us from following Jesus. And you would think that during these times, it might be easier to study God's word. And for a lot of us, it is. But for a lot of us, it's easy to get wrapped up into always being on our phones or always just doing something else, playing or whatever. But this is a perfect time to get yourself into God's word. A full armor of God is our best defense against the enemy. If we put on the armor of God daily, we can stand up against sin. We can fight our enemy and we can be victorious. The full armor of God is required safety gear for every day so that we can stand strong for Jesus. The full armor of God starts with the belt of truth. So the belt is just a reminder, a representation of we should always be truthful. She's excited about this, I think. <laughs> and it guides us in all areas of our lives. John 8, 28 through 40 told us that the truth will set us free. Put on the belt of truth and let the truth of God keep you on the right path. Yeah. Are you wearing a belt today, Sharla? Are you? Say no. <laughs> Next, Paul says to put on the breastplate of righteousness. When we were living right with God and making right choices, we protect our hearts from harm that can come from making poor choices. Next comes the shoes of peace. God wants us to be ready to share his love and peace with others at any time. So we should be ready to move and you have to have shoes on when you're walking around everywhere, right? So that's why he put the shoes of peace. Then comes the shield of faith. Just as Gideon had faith that allowed him to defeat the Midianites, we need to ask God to help give us faith to stand up to any challenge. <laughs> After the shield of faith comes the helmet of salvation. Remember that Jesus died for our sins and he could and he gave us the gift of salvation. When we choose to receive Jesus as our savior, he gives us salvation. And that salvation protects us completely and it marks us as God's own. So it makes us untouchable to the devil. Now he can try to trick us into doing something that might not further God's kingdom, but he can't ever have us in completely and whole because we are protected by that salvation. Paul says we need a sword, the sword of the spirit. The Bible is that sword. So, and it's sharper than any two-edged sword. The Bible is our weapon that can defeat our enemy and save us from sin. To all this, we add the horn of prayer. So I'm going to read verse 19 from chapter 6, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 19. Pray also for me that whenever I open my mouth, words may be given to me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel. So this is so awesome. So not only do we have these six pieces of armor that we can put on and we can visualize that because of this lesson that Paul taught us in Ephesians, but we also can use prayer to solidify all of this. And so you should be praying every day for everybody that's spreading the gospel and for yourself to tell others about God's word. So if you're already a believer, you already have received the helmet of salvation. And I want you to put on the full armor of God every day. So each day this week, ask God to help you to put on the full armor of God. Let's just try it in a prayer to where we can list all of the pieces of armor and we can ask God. So I want you to pray this prayer with me every morning when you wake up. So here we go. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your son, Jesus. And we just want to put on the full armor of God today before we even step out of bed. Lord, we just pray that you will help us have the belt of truth. Lord, that it's wrapped around our waist. And Lord, we pray that you'll help us have the breastplate of righteousness and the gospel of peace on our feet. 
Lord, we pray that you'll help us have the helmet of salvation fit firmly on our head and that we hold high the sword of the Spirit. And finally, Lord, we just pray that you'll help us um, have the shield of faith in front of us and use the horn of prayer to announce that you are Lord Jesus. Lord, we love you, and it's in your name that we pray. Amen. All right, in addition to all of these things, I have a craft that I'm going to lead you through some pictures. And uh, we're going to make the sword of the spirit. You know, everybody has uh, toilet paper right now. <laughs> and so there's some toilet paper rolls probably being um, tossed away in your house. So I encourage you to keep these. I used three but you can also use more and make a longer sword, um, or you can make a short one like I did. So this is three toilet paper rolls, and then I found a piece of cardboard to be kind of the handle. So this is my sword, um, sword of the spirit, and I think you can see it says that on there. Hope I'm holding it up right, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna now explain the um, details of how to make this and there's gonna be some pictures that'll pop up to kind of show you so um, first you need to grab um, some toilet paper roll um, cardboard um, little rolls um, or you can use paper towel rolls um, after you're done using them instead of throwing them away we're gonna use these to make a craft I used three and then I used um, a piece of cardboard um, a thin piece of cardboard that I got in a box. You can also cut up more toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls to make your handle. Um, you're going to need a pair of scissors and some tape and a pen or a marker and aluminum foil to make it silver. So all you do um, first is you cut a circle hole in the piece of cardboard so that it can fit around the toilet paper roll and you're going to want to trace the toilet paper roll on that piece of cardboard so that you know how big to cut the hole. You fold the piece in half and you cut it. Um, so and that will fit over the cardboard. Then you're going to tape the toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls, whatever you use, Christmas paper roll, whatever. Um, you're going to tape it all together to make the long sword. Um, you can use any kind of tape. I just use scotch tape. And so then you wrap the sword in aluminum foil and you tape it together on the back. And then we're going to um, pinch the top of your sword. Um, and this is the most difficult part probably. And then once you have that pinched, you pinch it the other way and you put a piece of tape over the edge to make the sharp end. And then you take another piece of aluminum foil and you um, put it over the top edge of the sword. Then you can take your marker and you can write sort of the spirit on it and you slip over your handle and there you go. You have the sword of the spirit. So I hope you can make that craft at home with the things that you have. Um, toilet paper rolls, be creative and have your parents text me a picture or you can join me on the kids messenger app that's on Facebook. I already have several people that have joined me on that. And so um, our final thing that we're gonna do, our final few things is we're going to sing the song again and then we are going to um, have our Bible buddy reading. So I hope you're reading those daily and here we go with our song. Let's sing a little song about the full armor of God, of God, so that you can stand firm against the devil's schemes. Put on the belt of truth, breastplate of righteousness, spread the gospel of peace of God. Let's sing a little song about the full armor of God, of God, so that you can stand firm against the devil's schemes. Take up the shield of faith, helmet of salvation, Hold high the sword of the Spirit of God. For our Bible buddy reading today, we are going to be reading Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 through 29. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down and the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall, because it had the foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down and the stream rose, 
and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching because he taught as the one who had authority, not as their teachers of the law. And this is what I ended up drawing. I drew an owl in the house because it reminded me that we can only do this with the Lord's strength. And this ties in perfectly with the armor of God because God tells us what armor to put on every day. And we can only do that with his strength. And then I wrote a little bit of the verses there. The wise man built his house upon the rock. There's also a song um, that you'll learn, you probably learned in preschool. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rains came tumbling down. So if you know the rest of it, just sing it to yourself all day. And know that if you build your house on the firm foundation of Jesus Christ, which is God's word, the sword of the spirit, then you will not fall down. Our memory verse for today is Ephesians 6, 13. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Okay, to wrap up, I'm going to point out um, where the different items are in the video, and I'm going to ask some questions, and you can um, yell out the answers, and hopefully you found these while I was talking. The helmet of... Salvation. The sword of the spirit. The belt of truth. The breastplate of righteousness. The shield of faith and the shoes of peace. <laughs> I hope you found all of those and I will see you again on Wednesday night and have your parents be looking at the Remind app because I'm going to be possibly doing a Zoom meeting with you. Um, we're going to do a scavenger hunt um, in your home, and I think that's going to be on Friday, but have your parents check their Remind app for that announcement and what to do to get the app Zoom. It's a free app. So I will talk to you later. Love you all, and have a good day.